in a global engineering project of extraordinary scale. Destined for gas fields previously thought too challenging, Shell is building a floating facility that will liquefy natural gas at sea. Piece by piece, 14 gas plant modules have been built on a quayside, then carefully lifted onto a giant hull. Now the last module is ready for installation and Prelude is taking shape. Getting the last module, that's a real uh, accomplishment by everybody. And from now on, progress won't be that visible. But on the other hand, of course, there's a lot, a lot of work to do still. There are 3,000 piping connections to make 450 kilometers of cabling to pull. So now that the, the forest of yellow steel is now going to get connected together, so it's one piece. This cargo tank, which is for LNG, is 39,000 cubic meter. It's difficult to imagine. We're in the liquefaction module and we're at the very heart of the liquefaction process with the, this refrigerant loop being assembled now. For top size only, we get 60,000 pair of flanges to make. Everyone has to be done right. We're at the front of Dry Dock 1 here, where our seven MLAs, Marine Loading Arms, have been for the last few months. As you can see, they're all assembled, ready to be lifted, uh, ready for FLNG. So, hopefully we get to see that in the next few days. When we see the last module coming on the deck, then now the real work will start. So if you were climbing Mount Everest, I think we are well past uh, base camp, but there's still quite a long way to go. And of course, as we go, it gets narrower and narrower. Tell you what, I'm going to give another analogy. I'm going to talk about Wales winning the Rugby World Cup. We're just getting ready for the semi-final. <laughs> 